Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the REC Podcast, brought to you by the REC Toycast. I'm your host, Roman Chavez, and with me as always... Eric Icarus. Eric! Yeah. They can find us on Instagram, at REC Podcast. You can follow me, at Roman REC Podcast. And you can find Eric... Looking for the just the cutest little purse to go with your ensemble. Mm-hmm. If you have fashion questions, he has fashion <laughs> advice, but that's another podcast. Um, I, I just realized today, Eric, when yeah. I knew what we were going to talk about in today's show, right. I realized that we have become the thing that we hate. Yes. Okay, uh, we did a podcast, uh, what was that, two podcasts ago, when we were talking about the teaser, uh, 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 the, the advertising is weird, maybe yeah. it was last podcast, Yeah. but we were talking about the, the that we don't like getting a little teaser preview uh-huh. of a trailer, yeah. well, kind of last week's podcast was a kind of a teaser, teaser for, for today's, this. Yeah, 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 for this, that's awesome, so, et tu, brute, <laughs> uh, we, we have become that which we hate, um, these two trailers dropped, yes. Wonder Woman, uh-huh. In Ghostbusters, mm-hmm. um, twenty twenty. Yep, yep. Both for next year. So it's nice to see. Uh, I was pleased with both trailers. We're gonna start with Wonder Woman. Um, what did you think of the Wonder Woman trailer? Uh, it looks fine. It looks fine. Yeah. Okay. It's, I mean, it's not a slight, or it's and it's not necessarily uh, praising it either. Uh-huh. It's just okay. I, I enjoyed the first one, and I feel like it's giving me more of the same aesthetic. Yes. You know, um, it, it it did feel. I don't know. I, I don't again if these period pieces. Mm-hmm. I don't know how to feel about it. You okay. Know, Wonder Woman eighty four. I'm just like, uh, I don't know, man. It's kind of bumming me out. I, I'm like, I, I don't know. I'm conflicted. You. You know. And then I don't know. Okay. It looked good though. Don't get me wrong. Everybody okay. looks great. Everybody yeah. looks awesome. I'm excited for the the new characters mm-hmm. being introduced, and it looks great on the whole. Yeah. I, I'm in the middle. It's fine. It's fine. And kids, we're definitely going to talk spoilers yes. about these trailers. Yes, yes. So, so if you're watching avoiding. First. The trailer, which I highly recommend in most cases, <laughs> avoid watching all trailers. Guys, until we started the show, I had been on yep. a very long hiatus mm-hmm. from not watching trailers. I watch trailers so I can talk to you guys about yep. trailers, okay? I sacrifice my own beliefs, <laughs> all right, to do this for you. And, you know, I bag on the DC Extended Universe pretty hard. Um, there are things that I enjoy, and Wonder Woman is definitely one of them. And I've got to tell you, I really enjoyed the trailer. Okay. Um, uh, I don't now. It didn't put me. Uh, it didn't put me where Black Widow put me. No. Um, uh, so th- right there, you know that that is that is kind of downplaying it. But I thought it looked really good. But unfortunately, that little teaser thing that they did a day before, it was maybe 35, 40 seconds, maybe. Yeah. And I felt like those were all the coolest parts yeah. of the actual was, two and a half minute trailer. It was the choice notes, for sure. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it, it, I don't think it was very smart. No. I don't think it was very fun. smart. Yes, no. show the, um, show the, uh, you know, her ejecting the bullet and hitting it, because that was, that was definitely yeah. the, the, beg- the biggest part of the trailer. For sure. But they showed that in the little 40 second thing. They showed her uh, swinging on the lightning, <laughs> you know. Um, they showed, like, all, like, all of the hot beats in that 40 yeah. seconds. Yeah, oh, for sure. Which begs the question, why even show a two and a half minute trailer when your little teaser was just as exciting. Right. Um, if not more because I feel like the trailer <coughs> it kind of dragged in spots too. Yeah. Like just yes. it, it, Yeah. I all like the Steve Trevor cool stuff. stuff. Yeah. yeah. Which again, how is that even possible? So we're also going to talk a little theory today, guys. Um, yeah. uh, you know, and to be honest, uh, because... Okay, let, let me just finish. I, I like the trailer. Yeah. Um, I think that one, I like Wonder Woman's uh, kind of modernized design right, on her. Right. Uh, although I feel like the comics kind of went to what Zack Snyder was doing. Yeah. This kind of bronzed. Sure, which colors, makes sense. Which, and it looks great. Yeah. I love it. I, yeah, I, yeah. I, I thought that that was, I again, visually, Snyder knows what he's doing yeah, most yeah. of the time. There's a frame. You get, the guy's a, the guy would be a perfect uh, DP, director mm-hmm. of photography, yeah. or second unit. Yeah. yeah. Agreed. You know what Agreed. I mean? He'd be amazing. He'd probably win Academy Awards, honestly. Ah, interesting. The, he, no one frames a shot like him. Yeah, he, no he does have a great, unique style, yeah. and, and, I, and I do thoroughly But as far as it. helming movies, he's got, he hit a couple home runs. I feel like Patty Jenkins is doing her best impression of Zack Snyder, yeah. but putting a, a, a woman's touch on it. And I think she's delivering. Okay. I think she's uh, delivering. Okay. Because part of my issue with Zack Snyder, too, is that everything is very dark. Like, looking. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, um, saturated. So, yeah. I think that Patty kind of just, like, you know, she took the the little uh, 
the little brightness bar on her phone and went more towards the, <laughs> the middle. contrast. Yeah, yeah, the contrast, contrast thing. bar. Yeah, the contrast bar, and she went a little uh, 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 right of center. Yeah. Um, and and I'm digging it, and I think that that might become her style as a whole for these movies because this did remind me of that last film. Yeah, it, and it fits it, very well into the the universe they're creating. It reminded me a little of Wonder Woman's big scene in Justice League yes. when she's at the Louvre or whatever. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um. So I think. And, and I'm not trying to, you know, you know, diss uh, Patty Jenkins. I just think that she's doing, I think her style for these movies might become that, her best impression of Zack Snyder while trying to be a little lighter. Sure, because, well, she has to adapt to his style. Like, I remember this movie was shot two years ago. Yeah. So they wanted it to kind of fit into maybe what Zack yes. Snyder was uh, doing. Yeah, so that would make true. sense. That's true. Um, but again, it's fine. Yeah. You know, and it looks, again, I think she's a way better director than, than that Zack Snyder, but... Um, yeah, it's gonna be great. Yes. I, I have no quabbles. Yeah, it's it didn't be fine. It didn't make me not want to watch. Yeah, the movie, yeah, for sure. You know. Yeah, yeah. Um, whereas like some Shazam stuff, I was <laughs> like, oh, why is this a thing? Um, so, okay, I don't know significance of of 1984 for Wonder Woman, and if we're going to be honest here, I uh, Wonder Woman is probably my least read of the big three from oh, DC, okay. right, right. Um, and it's for no other reason than. I just uh, some of the stories just just don't really do it for me. Sure. Um, oftentimes they'll get me because they'll have a really good artist on there. Yeah. Um, your Terry Dodson's, especially mm-hmm. Terry Dodson and and uh, um, and Rachel, the the husband and wife duo. Uh, their their Wonder Woman w- was beautiful, um, but they always tend to have really good. Adam Hughes is, 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 was big on on the book for a long time, um, and it's nice to see uh, Patty kind of. You know, doing this period piece, I don't know what the significance of 1984 is. Sure. Um, so I don't know if, if maybe Wonder Woman comics were really big then right, in 1984. Right. And so they're kind of like like hinting to that. I'm not sure what that significance is in for the story. Right, right. Um, Steve Trevor's character, as, as you said, you know, we know that he He's went, that, went full on Steve Rogers. <laughs> he, he went Rogers himself, um, but did not have the... Uh, uh, Super Soldier Serum to, to back it up. Yeah. You know? Yes. Um, I gotta put her in the water. Um, <laughs> and oh, you can just land it. No, dude, you're you're a good soldier. Just like, you don't have, like, what are you doing? <laughs> Nothing on here die. is rigged to explode. Um, anyway, so I don't know why he's there because not right. only is it 1984 and is he dead, but then that's like a significant, because that's, because her movie was World War One. Right, right, right. So what what is going on here? Yeah, yeah. Um, that was kind of the part of the trailer I didn't like either. Was yeah. him like doing the man at a time. Like, Ooh, what is this? It's yeah, a trash can. can. Oh, like wait till he sees like colored people sitting at diners. Oh my god! Yeah, <laughs> he's like, wait, what is going on here? He's like, wait, what? Yeah. <laughs> right. And Pedro Pascal is going to be playing Maxwell Lord. Do you remember me telling you who Maxwell Lord is? Uh, the name sounds familiar. So Maxwell Lord uh-huh. is the uh, that guy who's the low level telepath who got control of Superman and Ooh. Wonder Woman snaps oh, his right. neck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, he's playing Maxwell Lord, and that is fantastic so casting. Can, that's cool because uh, maybe we'll get something like that. Yes, part of okay. So theory wise, part of me thinks that Max Lord um, and in comics, Max Lord actually. Uh, the Justice League needs funding. Right, right. And so, like, he ends up, like, funding the Justice League okay. for a few years, like, okay. out of Detroit, of all places. <laughs> um, and and uh, he's kind of a, somewhat of a benefactor. He's, okay. he's like a Tony Stark without actually, like, being in the field. Sure, sure. And, uh, but he's got low-level tel- telepathy. So, like, me or you, he mm-hmm. could he could suggest things to us. Gotcha. Um, but any of the big dogs... It's difficult. Yeah, for sure. So, uh, and he always, his nose always bleeds when he does the, um, oh. when he does, when he's using his powers. He ends up becoming the, the White King or the Black King uh, for Checkmate, which is their quasi shield organization. Okay. Um, okay. Checkmate has a, a black set of, of the chess pieces right, right. Um, and then a white set. <laughs> so that's how they keep the balance in their secret oh, organization. Okay. Right, right. There's a white king and a black king and Ooh. so on down the line. Okay. So they kind of keep each other in check while also doing espionage. Sure. Very com- a a, complicated concept, but interesting. Yeah, but say, it sounds very cool. Yeah, yeah a, you know, Waller's been the, the black queen uh, and stuff you, like that. You you know? But uh, <clears throat> I, I hope they do dig into that story. 
So, maybe I would say even maybe Steve Trevor is not even there. Maybe he's just suggesting that to her. I don't know, man. He was in there a lot, but that would be that's a great idea. You know what I mean? Like he maybe he's on that level in the movie where he can just suggest it to everyone. Because he's like holding like a gemstone, like a like a right. rock at some time. Is he getting yeah. a power boost? Um, I don't know. That's a cool idea. I didn't even think about that. If he's suggesting that she's there. Wow, that would be yeah. that would be deep cuts comic stuff, right? And that would be hardcore because usually when we get the Wonder Woman Steve Trevor story, we just kind of update. Yeah. So like he, they, you know, we just make contact with the Amazon. Uh, Amazon's like way later, right? Right, right, right. So he's like a you know a, a black squatted you know Afghanistan or something <laughs> as opposed to being you know uh, in, in World War One. Right, right. Um, I don't remember if he's British though, and I, I don't remember either. I don't, I mean, Chris Pine didn't play him British, but no, I, I was wondering if he that'd was. That'd be funny if he did, though. I wish he did. Right. <laughs> um, so, you know, th- that's interesting. There's There's been some talk online, like, people making suggestions, like, what if it was Martian Manhunter? I don't see Manhunter doing anything like that. Yeah, like, it'd be cruel. What, what would be the point for him? There's well, no payoff for yeah. him. He's too logical. Or, right? if there's, or is there is that just a different type of shapeshifter? Sure. But he knows things, so that's that's hard to fake. Yeah. Um, and then, um, Wig? Yeah, Kristen Wig. Uh, she's playing Minerva. Yes. And uh, yeah, I love Kristen Wiig. I, I think she's hilarious. Uh, big fan of hers on SNL. I think she's one of the best uh, cast members yeah, that they've ever had. Yeah. Um, I think she's gorgeous. She yeah. wears smoky eye like nobody else there does. There you go. Um, yes. And I thought she was funny in that trailer. Yeah, she's good. And she's like, oh, have you ever been in love? And, and Wonder Woman's like, yeah, once. And she's like, what about you? She's like, all the time. Yeah. All the time. I fall in love all the time. You know? And that's just like so sad. So... It's going to be interesting to see, um, you know, because she's going to be Cheetah. Yes. So how are we going to use Cheetah? How are Cheetah and Maxwell Lord involved? Right. You know, like, like where, where's the where's the link there? Yeah. Um, I, I'm excited to see how she gets her powers. Yes. How, yes. You know how she does it in the comics? Because... I feel like it's something in the jungle. Drinks you know, Cheetah blood. Yeah, tablet, something like that. I, I, I don't remember. Eats Cheetos. Yeah, yeah, eats Cheetos. Yeah, yeah. Her powers uh, derive from Chester. Chester the Cheetah. <laughs> Chester, yeah. Oh man. I yeah, yeah. She does. Her fingers don't get dirty. Oh, they don't okay. get that's dirty. the superpower yeah, right there. The power there. Is she I, on par with Flash as far as no. Oh, no. okay. No. She's probably she, her. Her speed is more equivalent to a, um, cheetah. a cheetah. Yeah. Oh, okay. So we're so we're talking thirty miles an hour. <laughs> and she's not out there like running fast all the time. She's just kind of like quick. Oh, okay. So more than anything, yeah. So eludes you. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. There's no reason that she should be able to hang with with Diana. Doesn't want to hurt her. Oh, half, the, half the time it's like, yo, like I can get you help. Oh, because Diana, like, I can punch through your yeah, face if yeah. I want to. Diana's way faster than she does. Oh, okay. Yeah, the only reason she's even on like anything is because Diana won't kill her. And she plays to that. She does. Okay, yeah, she all does. right, fair enough. And I think, she, if I remember correctly, she might have got her powers trying to help Wonder Woman. So it's like she's... she's I can't remember if she's cursed. It was an accident that I think Wonder Woman caused. So oh, that's yeah. so she's like trying to save her uh, as opposed to like kill her. Okay, you gotcha, know? gotcha, gotcha. gotcha. Um, okay. So there could be something interesting there. I loved. Uh, is that Blue Monday? Is yes. the song? Oh, I, Blue Monday. Oh. Dude, good ver. You know, good uh, uh, use of it. Sure, it, it did harken back to the Atomic Blonde trailer yeah. for me. Oh. Uh, they did play that. Did they? It was I either that or a version of that. Gotcha. And. Um, even the neon stuff going yeah. on, I was like, oh, "This is very Atomic Blondie," yeah. you know, which you didn't care for. No, that I did like. Uh, so I'm okay with it because, uh, yeah, no, it's cool. It it, it sets the um, um, the tone for the movie. Very much so. You know, yeah. I mean, when I think of '80s music, I mean, that's one song that's boom, it's up there. And that's when you, you know, I love the '80s, man. They I do. love the '80s. I love the '90s. I just love where I grew up. It was cool. Yeah, yeah. Um, it so, was cool. so I'm kind of into that idea. Um, seeing her in the gold armor, which I believe... Yeah, the same. What do you... The, the, it's weird. Uh, I never thought I'd see it because I believe its first appearance is in Alex Ross and Mark Wade's Kingdom Come. Oh. Uh, remember, in the final battle, she oh, does yeah, wear yeah, that. Yeah. I, I just thought that was like, <coughs> going into battle armor. I think it's the first time we've seen that, okay. and then they've used it subsequently. Okay, I have enough. a really nice statue based off of... Uh, actually, Terry... I believe it was Terry Dodson's version oh. or Adam Hughes. I can't remember which one. It, it was Adam Hughes. It was based off a cover that Adam Hughes did, and it's a beautiful statue. I packed it, but I'll show it to you some other time. Sweet. Um, but it's an amazing outfit. Uh, very cool that they brought it in. Um, yeah. And I like that, that they're bringing in those types of things. You know, we see her throw her tiara, yep. as a, use it as a weapon, which that's how she kills Maxwell Lord. She yeah. slits his throat with a tiara. Yeah. So, oh no, she snaps his neck, and she actually slits 
Superman's Superman. throat. Yeah, that's, that's, that's right. right. That's yeah. right. Yeah. Um, so it was cool to see her like use it as a weapon. Um, I don't know. I, I like the trailer. I'd give it a strong B, B plus. Um, uh, yeah, that's fine. I'll, yeah. go, I'll go with that. Yeah. That's fine. Yeah, because like I said, it didn't, it was all fine and dandy, you know, but uh, it didn't like make me, you know, wanna... No, it didn't hinder any feeling I could <coughs> to watch it. It's, it's fine. I don't even know if I sent it to you. I don't even um, think I sent it to you. No, yeah. no, no, no. I, uh, so. yeah, I, I sought it out on my own. I did homework. <laughs> Good, good, good. If you call it homework. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that's yeah, fine. I'm excited. <coughs> I'm down. And, and probably the biggest, its biggest uh, issue is the fact that Ghostbusters uh, <laughs> Afterlife came out two days later, or right, a day right, later. Right. And for me, uh-huh. that trailer was awesome. That, uh, Huge Ghostbusters fans, both of us. Yes. Oh, yeah. um, uh-huh. I, again, I've said it numerous times on the show. I even enjoy. I'm watching. I'm rewatching the female one right now. Okay. I enjoy it. Uh, I have it on. I can just stop it and pick it back up when I want right, some other right. time. And it's that. It's a, that type of movie. Yeah, it, it gets way, way too much hate. Yes. People stop being stupid yeah. and go watch it. Yeah, it's, it's good. It's a yeah, good movie. It's, it's fine. The Don't ghosts aren't great, people. but it's 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 a it's a fine movie. It's not. You can't compare it to the other two. No. Um, but it's its own thing. Oh man, if this trailer. Isn't better than anything I saw in that All Lady Cats movie. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. I know that that's very double sided, but I really enjoyed it. Okay. Um, I didn't know that it was going to be about kids. I didn't either. So I have I have things I like about that and things I dislike about it. But no, it was nice no, to get no. kind of a a, a, a surprise sure. in that aspect. I didn't know Paul Rudd was in it. Neither did I. I really wasn't paying attention to uh, this. I didn't know it was going to come out this soon. I didn't either. I feel like I we just got that years. teaser. Yeah, I thought a couple years. Yeah. Maybe 2021. Which, that's how you do a teaser for a trailer. Uh, <laughs> when you just showed the, the Ecto-1 in that barn. Right. And I just thought, like, oh, this is, that's cool. It's just in a barn. No, it actually it plays into the store. Yes. Um, I, I, could, I, could, I, I have a lot of things to talk about on this trailer. But you weren't as into the trailer no, as, I was. as I was. Um, it, it's very... Um, I'm excited, nonetheless. But... Um, yeah, I, I was very taken back, taken back that it's chill, based around kids, especially the Stranger Things kid. I didn't like that at all, having him in that. there. Since we saw since we saw that kind of a little in yeah, Stranger Things. Yeah, and it's, it, it's kind of the same, yes. almost the same thing, if you think about it. Same kind of story. Yeah. Um, you know... But about Strange Things. Stranger Things in small towns, baby. Yeah, yeah. You know, and uh, I don't know, man. It's going to be good. I, I was under the impression it was going to be, you know... Bill, Dan, Ernie. Yeah, they're going to be in it. Sure, but I thought it was going to be them. Them, yeah. Yeah, and they had to, like, get together for one last romp, and then, you know. And they might have to. Yeah. They might have to. I mean, that would, that would be awesome, but uh, Paul Rudd saves it for me. Paul Rudd, Paul Rudd's just great. Yeah. He, Paul Rudd's just awesome. Dude. Yeah. You know, I love his replica line. Yeah. It's just great. <laughs> um, well, what's funny is friend of the show, Jordan. Yes. Um... A you know, teacher by day, uh, love maker by night, an adventurer, uh, adventurer by like, night. Indiana Jones. Uh, he was. It's funny. He was. He was texting me and he was saying yeah. that uh, one of his students didn't know what Ghostbusters was. Right. A few, few few weeks ago, was uh-huh. asking him about about Ghostbusters. So he showed him trailers of Ghostbusters. Right. And then so when Paul Rudd, who is a school teacher in this trailer, is showing them old clips, <laughs> he was like, "Dude, I'm Paul Rudd." <laughs> It's That's like yeah, awesome. you're not, but like yeah, I, I can see where you yeah, think that parallels. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's definitely parallels. Um, so, okay, you do you like the kid thing or you don't? Uh, I'm have to see where it goes. Okay, but right now I, I'm gonna watch. The it. idea they yeah. got my money. They're, okay, they're gonna take my money. Okay, so it's fine. But I, I want to see. Yeah, I, I just want to see where it goes. I want to see how much involvement our original mm-hmm. Buster's get into this. Yeah. You know. Uh, I, I'd like to make. I, I hope Sigourney Weaver maybe come back for a second. No, oh, I think she would. She would. Yeah, be awesome. Um, yeah, I, 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 I am excited. Okay, hands down excited. Shot really well. Written by Jason Reitman. Yeah, written and directed. You know, he he always said he never really wanted to do his father's work. Right, but come on. But felt compelled to. Sure. And I think, and I and I may be this may be just something I'm making up, guys. But I think I hear heard him say something to the effect of what, especially when you watch that last one, he was like, oh, 
like I gotta do it. I gotta do this for Harold. Yeah, yeah, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta do this. Yeah, like, like almost like it was, it was bestowed upon him. Um, I may be making up that that story, but I, I think I thought I remember seeing him say something like that. Yeah, um, well, and Ivan is producing it. I believe. Yes, I oh yes, producing, of course, so. of course. So we've got t- tons well, of original yeah. blood. Right. So I think it, it's going to be in safe hands. Um, real quick, while we're talking. Uh, I, I really hope that they don't just discount this female one. I hope they can tie it into this somehow. It would be interesting. Just do it. They, there's no reason they can't. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, I, uh, I, I'm waiting to see what Leslie Jones has to say online. <laughs> She's been the most vocal of I know. the other ones are so I'm not saying anything. Yeah. Yeah, and again, as much as I've said how much I loved Holtzman. Oh my God, I love yeah. Holtzman. Holtzman. Kate McKinnon, great. great, awesome, Lady Egon. It was perfect. Um, theory time, kids. Yeah, uh-huh. Theory time. So, I have some thoughts, obviously. Um, there's a lot of interesting beats in here, okay? Uh, I like the idea of the mystery already baked into, why hasn't there been a ghost scene in 30 years? Right, right. That's fascinating. Yes. Like, what, like, was defeating Vigo such a shock to the spiritual realm that it was hard for any more spirits to come through? Right. That would be interesting. Okay? Two... And I didn't even think I said one. Um, as the camera's like passing by in the trailer, we kind of see um, some like old iron rod. Almost looks like a barn, but I think it says I think it says Shandor Mining Company. Right. And if you remember, Evo Shandor was the guy who who made Dana Barrett's building in the first movie. Right. When they right. were talking about this guy was like yeah. a, a Gozer worshiper, <laughs> and he was an architect and this yeah, and that. Yeah. So. There's some Shandoranigans going on. <laughs> that, was, that was rough. I didn't like that. I, I'm sorry. Um, there's some Shandor business going on there in this town where these kids who are, at least what it looks like, they're the grandchildren of Egon Spangler. Yes. In this town that has uh, this mining company. And I got to, man, like the darkness in me is saying, dude, I think Egon was there keeping something at bay. Right. Either he was keeping something at bay or knew something was coming and was trying to figure out how to stop it. Sure. And it'll Either be, of those would work for me. And it'll be interesting if Egon died doing, doing this. this work. Yes. And then that's how you get, you know, Which would make get sense around to having Harold Ramis in there. Yeah. Yeah, because this character was obsessive to a, to a fault. Yes. So it would make sense that he would die doing this to, yeah. to save the world, I guess, yeah. whatever, you know. See as how he had he knew he had grandchildren. Or yeah. He, yeah, he knew yeah, he would he would have to know. Yeah. Um now, is Gozer coming again? Right. Are we gonna get a kind of Force Awakens rehash here? If oof. But I'm fine having Gozer be an issue or, or at least goes or worshippers or something. Like sure, I'm fine sure. with that. Yeah. Um, I just don't definitely. I don't want a retread. Don't I, a I don't retread. want a full retread. Yeah, yeah. I want, I'll be okay with a couple of beats. Give me Slimer. Yeah. yeah. You know? I think, because I think we'll get Slimer. It looks like we got one of the uh, uh, Cortho or, yeah, you know, yeah. um, I can't remember what Dana's was. The, you know, the Keymaster and the, and, yeah. the, and the, oh God, what is that? The Key, what are they? They're the Keymaster and one of them something else. I don't remember. Anyway, the two dogs. Yes. You know? Yes. So it looks like we get one on the hood. The gatekeeper? The gatekeeper, yes. yes. The gatekeeper and the key master. There we go. Thank you. Oh my God. That was going to drive me nuts. <laughs> um, yeah, like, you know, what What are the kids, what are the grandkids to Egon? Right. Does the mom know more than she's letting on? Is there going to be, like, are the Ghostbusters going to be Paul Rudd, the mom, and the kids? Right. Uh, Which would be an interesting take. And the I, we talked about this in our previous episode about the advertising and where we said we thought that the picture, the kind of the image that they showed us as the kind of preview for this, yeah. instead of giving us footage, was the way to go because it felt very Marvel. Well, I thought this felt very Marvel too. Oh, big time. Because what wasn't in there? None of the original Ghostbusters. Nope. Which we know that they're in the film. Right. So, yeah, you don't have and to... we still have no idea what's going on. Yeah, you don't have to blow your load on this no, one no. Uh, thing. Yes. And I think that that was great. And then having... Vickman, uh kind of talking over it, over the the trailer and everything from from uh, you know call it fate, yeah, call yeah. it yeah, you know from Ghostbusters one when they're in the prison or was it Ghostbusters two? Anyway, um, it's Vickman either way. That, it just it hit all of the right no, emotional codes. Big for me. time, big time. I, oh man, I'm I'm so curious. I'm so curious what what's happening. The, the intrigue is there. The excitement levels up. 
Uh, the only thing I'm concerned about is just, you know, I, I don't want, I, I'm kind of getting sick of the kids being heroes thing, you know what I mean? I am too. I mean, just because it hasn't been done very well in the past, and it, it, I think it's kind of worn out and it's welcome yeah. for me. Yeah. But maybe this will be the thing that proves me wrong, but wow, that was really cool. You yeah, because I, I, I think we'll probably have to have one, but off the top of my head, like, I think that if you're going to do younger Ghostbusters, like, you do, you do Kate McKinnon, you do Kristen Wiig, right. you do... Michael B. Jordan. Sure. You, do, you know, uh, I'm trying to think who else is, is, is oh, Rami Malek or something. Sure. You know, you do somebody who's hot right yeah. now and you do this very eclectic yeah. cast, but then you have them, you know, being taught. Yes. So, having said that, not knowing that it was going to have to do with the grandchildren of Egon Spangler, I'm super into that. Okay. I'm super into okay, that. Okay. Um, it, it's going to be really fun. And, like, we were. We were probably too young when we watched it, but yeah. like we all enjoyed it. Oh yeah, we all enjoyed Ghostbusters because I think it came out in '84, right? It did. So yes. you know that was the year we were born. Yeah, yeah. Um, Wonder Woman '84, Ghostbusters '1984. You know, uh, it's it's an interesting way because you always want to sell toys, which sure. we talked about. Yeah. It's an interesting way to get kids into Ghostbusters yep. by by like okay. I think they I think they lucked out down that first go where kids really enjoyed Ghostbusters when these actors in their mid to late forties. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like yeah, late thirties yeah, yeah. or mid forties. Yeah, yeah. And uh, they they just lucked out that like, oh, we can do a cartoon about this too. And we yeah. can do it, you know. So I think to get the younger audience you have to do something like this. Yes. And I didn't see it coming. Um, I didn't either. I really I love that our surrogate is going to be Paul Rudd. Yeah. Like that's who we're going to identify exactly. with, exactly. And I'm I'm super excited. Oh about yeah, it's going to be I'm great. I'm super man. excited about that. If we don't get a uh, Ray Parker Jr. theme song, I'm gonna I'm gonna be upset. That's when I'm gonna be the most let down. Uh, you know, I'm a big Fall Out Boy fan, and I was not into their version of. Uh, um, I think they called it "Not Afraid," and they did the Ghostbusters theme. Right, right. With um, I don't know if it was Missy Elliott. I think or, it was Missy Elliott. Yeah, Missy Elliott and Fall Out Boy. Um, that sounds really awful. Yeah. I know. I think they should bring back Reed Parker Jr. Unless he's dead. I don't know, man. He might be. He might be dead. <laughs> like, like, I, I don't he's know. a ghost. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Yeah. He can be in there. He can have his cameo. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I think that they're like it'll be interesting because they can do that. Like we can see the YouTube video of that right, because right, right. it would technically take place. You know. <laughs> um, yeah. It'll be. It'll be cool to see the, how they get the original cast back in. Um, and I think they're going to be able to do it to get... Uh, okay, here, here's my wild theory just right off the top of my head. Um, I think Pete... I, I wonder if Egon called them and was like, Hey, this thing's going down. I need help. Right. And Peter doesn't show. Oh. Okay? He Peter, needed him. Peter doesn't do it. Yeah. And and and, and it doesn't happen. Yeah. And then, Venkman, and then Egon dies. Which, that's kind of... What happened with the Ghostbusters movie? Yeah, and uh, right, yeah, yeah. Like that'd be because he wanted them to do it. Yeah. yeah, he wanted to do it except for him. Yeah. So then, uh, you know, uh, uh, Ernie Hudson. Yeah, Winston. Winston and and Ray yes. show up. They're not enough, and they, there's a casualty. Yeah. So it'll be interesting if. They're able to like, hey, we've got a plan. We have to close this. We'll call it a hell mouth for lack of a yeah, better, better, for lack enough. of a better thing. I like it. We got to close this hell mouth, and uh, and they're gonna find out that like somebody has to like willingly give their soul to like close it, and it'll be Venkman. Oh, you know, Venkman will show that up. That would be so good. It'll be something like that. Yeah. And maybe I'm going too serious, uh, you know but what? could be it's interesting. Fine. Yeah. You know, I think some of these movies need moments like that. Yeah. You know, they're either too silly or they're too serious. And I think we'll get a. Ghost that doesn't speak of Harold Ramis. Right. I think we'll see Egon, like a digital ghost okay. Egon. Sure. Know. I'll be okay. Eh, I'm on the fence about that. I don't know. That, I mean, they got to do something for him, yeah. man. Yeah. You got to do something for Harold, man. At least, you know, the ladies did it. Yeah. With, with that head bust. Yeah, that's so, true. Yeah. You know, you got to do something for it. I agree. I agree. Yeah. Uh, um, I don't know. It, it's, it's, got, it's got the juices flowing, and we're going to have to... Uh, I felt a little weird doing the show without Dave, Dave and Jordan. Yeah, because uh, they're like the, 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 they're the they're Ghostbusters. Huge, yeah, yeah, they're huge Ghostbusters fans. So yeah. we'll have to have them on and talk theories more later because I'm sure I'm sure they both have a oh, bunch no, of more theories. Uh, yeah, oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm Dave, Dave's got the, got the whole the whole getup, you know? Yeah, yeah. Um, kids, that's our show for today. 
Thank you so much for listening mm -hmm. and someday soon, hopefully watching. Um, if you like what we're doing, please hit the subscribe button. Uh, give us a like. Leave us a comment. Did you like either of these trailers? Are you one of those people? Because I've seen it online. Hashtag leave Ghostbusters alone. Which, like, come on, man. Like, we need more Ghostbusters. Yeah. Um, but are you one of those that, like, no. No. We, I, I don't want another Ghostbusters movie. It's perfect the way it is. Yeah. We don't need any more. <laughs> Eric, what did you learn today, my friend? Uh, Bustin' makes me feel good? Always makes me feel good. <laughs> that is the plan. Um, Wonder Woman makes me feel good, I guess. Uh, uh, lassos and then light bondage from the old... Uh, uh, oh, now you're speaking my language. Yeah, there you go. But, uh, uh, oh, Invisible Airplane, we need that. Uh, yeah, there you go. Yeah. I want that. Oh, jeez. I'm good Maybe. without it. <laughs> With or without it. Um, I learned that uh, I was very shocked at how... Interested you were. Yeah, it's okay. yeah. Like it hit it, it. Like there's. I don't really have any issues with the trailer. Right, right. Um, I I, I can nitpick it a bit, sure, but I mean, sure. yeah. no. Like that, it, but... it got me very excited for more Ghostbusters, and I hope that uh, I, I'm 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 very hopeful. I I, I think right. it's gonna be. I think it's gonna be good stuff. Sweet, guys. Thank you so much for listening to the show. I have been your host, Roman Chavez. I'm still Eric Icarus. And remember that Bustin makes you feel good. <laughs> we will catch you next time.